All right. So, one thing that I see people talk, asking about all the time, and we've talked about it already on this channel, is glass. Usually it's windshields, but I just wanted to show you guys something that I do on side windows, usually back glass. Obviously this one's got the, the fold up, so that'll just come off real easy, but I do this on back windows on sedans also. Um, but one thing that I've always done, I don't like trying to take these windows out, especially because these are much more likely to crack or break. You go through all the work, get almost done, and then you do something just wrong and you end up shattering the whole thing anyway. But I also don't like just smashing it and having every piece of glass to have to clean up. I hate cleaning up glass. So one thing that I've done, and I've seen guys on uh, We Crash, they talk about it all the time, um, using duct tape. Duct tape to me is way too expensive to do this with, um, but I buy this. It's vinyl tape. Um, it's still pretty wide, um, but it cost me a dollar... 89 or old, dollar sixty nine or old, something like that. Um, but I've only seen it at one store, and it's not a chain, so I'm not sure where you guys would want to go about finding it. But basically, all I do is just go around the edges, make sure that something's going to get a good stick. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything, like I said, overly special. Just something to hold on to the glass, at least most of it. This isn't going to keep from having glass inside the car, but it's going to get a big amount of it to all come out together. So, I'm going to get this slapped on here quick. Not like I'm on camera or anything, no pressure, right? If you guys have ever broke one of these bigger windows on a wagon, you know that they still produce a decent amount of glass. I mean, that's a lot to have to clean up. Obviously, all of you folks in YouTube land love seeing YouTubers. I don't know if I like saying that. I don't know if I want to call myself a YouTuber, but I guess I kind of have to, huh? People on YouTube, those of us that smash cars, you guys want to see us shatter windows. Why? Because it's cool. All right. Yeah, it's cool. I like watching other people break windows, too. As long as I don't the one that's got to clean it up. These ones I have to clean up. So, this has been the way that I've been doing it for a while. Like I said, I do this on back windows also, in sedans. Side windows I usually take out. I know you, a lot of guys out there just smash those, um, like the ones on the doors, those. I will cut the rivets and pull those windows out. And I usually put them in my recycling bin and smash them so they take up less space. But I do not like constantly having to clean up glass. You already saw how we do our windshields. And I'll probably show you that again on this one. Because no matter how many times it gets answered, it's a question that keeps getting asked all the time. I have a couple other YouTubers that I watch that I have seen do videos on how they take out windshields. And I still see them constantly getting asked how they take out glass, how they do this glass, that glass, whatever glass. So obviously, one, most people don't want to take the time to go back and find it, but there's still people that don't know that all the methods that are out there to remove windshields or to remove other glass. Now you might be saying, boy, that's taking forever, but really, has it? How much extra work is it to just make sure you have a little bit less cleanup? Because to me, I mean, I'll check the camera once I turn this part of the video off, but this is maybe, what, a minute and a half, two minutes? Need a good stick. And we'll do one more layer on the bottom. Now, don't worry, you still get to grab a hammer. I prefer to have something with a ball on it. And then, once you got it as sticky as you can, break away. Ha! Sorry. I watch you guys all the time, and 
it's amazing how many times you hit the window and it bounces off and that's like, God, you can't even break a window. I broke mine on the first try. Go around the edges. More safety glasses when you're doing this. give you the result. There you go. I'm gonna get the light a little better. That much of the glass, pretty much the entire center, stayed stuck to the vinyl. Now I'm gonna go throw this in a garbage can. Alright, so I just wanted to show you the results quick. You can see, I don't know, how, oh yeah, a little bit of glass out here, not much, easy for Adam to sweep up. Obviously I still got to clean up the lines of the windshield, we'll go through there with the our tool that we use on the Sawzall. And then, alright, a little bit of glass, a little bit, all fairly easy cleanup. If you guys have ever broken one of these windows, actually hold on. You know what? For your viewing pleasure, where's my hammer? There we go. Aw, oh, man! Now I'm the same guy, too. Now... Let's compare. God, I hate cleaning out glass. Oh well. This side, outside of the car, compared to this side. This side inside the car, that's the side we use tape on. And the side that we didn't use tape on. God, look at all that freaking glass I gotta clean up. Why'd I do that? See? This is this proves I like you guys. I got a lot of glass to clean up. Tell the difference? Is it worth the extra five minutes to slap some vinyl over it so that you don't have to take one more trip to the garbage can with a shop back? Hope you guys like that one. Appreciate you following along, as always. Get ghost.